Welcome back to Wild wow, Leveling with your boy Rizotis. <laughs> uh, so we're still here in the bulwark. We just need to go uh, get some plague tides, I guess, as well as kill a bunch of Scarlet Zealots and Friars. So let's get right to that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's use this. No, that's just a battle pet lost of Lordaeron. We have the Dusk Bats, but where are the enemies that we actually need to kill? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Oh, okay, they're just the bears. I was expecting, like, even though we have to get their hides, for some reason I was, I was thinking that they were going to be, like, humanoids. I don't know. Well, oh, that damage is glorious. Yeah, this... Once you get to level 11, we can actually do something with this proc, but... Not quite yet. Alright, there's the last hide, finally. Alright, so we can turn this quest in, but first we want to do the, uh, the War with the Scarlet Crusade quest. So, uh, seems like they're all kind of tucked in a very small space right there. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's hobble our way back there. Alright, here's the Crusader's outpost. Uh, doesn't seem like there's anything going on here. So there's a Captain Vacon. Since we don't actually need him for a quest, but maybe these guys will drop something that'll require us to kill him. I'd imagine so, because normally named NPCs in quest areas that are not rare mobs um, are, are quest related. So. I remember uh, that name from the quest text as well. And down they go. So yeah, no quest to kill the guy. He didn't drop anything to... Sometimes, like, other also NPCs will just turn in... Or drop, like, a note. Or something that you have to take back to the quest giver. Um, but nope, nothing in this case. Just a random NPC. All right, Dithers, what have you got for me? Best to have all your hides. Dithers, you've done it again. These are perfect. He samples his latest concoction. Hmm, this isn't quite there. I need something to give it a little more zing. I've got it. The spiders to the north have a potent venom that'll do the trick. See if you can extract some for me. Alright, I, I guess I can try. This had better be good. Your actions will slow down the Scarlet Crusade's advancement and tears fall quite a bit. Hopefully for good. But other threats loom. Sweet, level 11. Shortly before you arrived at the Bulwark, I was approached by the most unusual young undead woman. She swore enmity against the Scarlet Crusade, so I sent her to work on our enemies to the north. You say you saw some dead crusaders earlier? Those were probably her work. Go check up on her and see if she can use any assistance in her vendetta against the Crusade. 
Though I wouldn't be surprised if she's already killed them all. Alright. So we just got Pistol Shot. It's just a ranged ability that does some damage and gives us combo points. Uh, and our Saber Slash has a 35% chance to grant a free use of it, cause it to do more damage, so it's pretty neat. Alright, and we have to sort of go back here, and I think, uh... Probably, I think that's Lillian Voss up there. So, yeah, let's go get some spider venoms and talk to Lillian. Look at all these corpses. All purple smoky. <laughs> Lieutenant Sanders. Having a having a fun time there, buddy boy. With that chain going through your foot, apparently. As we look over the ruins of the camp, we hear a whisper behind us. I could kill you right now if I wanted to. You'd better watch your step, undead. <clears throat> the whisper continues. My name is Lillian Voss. Before I died, I was a member of the Scarlet Crusade. My father, High Priest Voss, raised me to be a weapon against the plagued. I studied stealth, sorcery, martial arts, anything to make myself stronger. I gave up my childhood for him. Then, as fate would have it, I died and returned as this. Oops. Something about her father forgetting. Come. We will speak with him now, in his tower to the northwest. Uh, I'm not sure how we were hearing that, and we're talking to him. I don't really know what's going on there, but, uh, oh, there she is. I guess we just go up to and talk to him, and then she, like, sneaks up behind us and, like, whispers this to us or something. Oh man, so much walking in this episode so far. But check out how cool Lillian looks. All black and shadowy and has little puffs of purple smoke coming up from her feet. It's pretty dope. Oh, okay, I guess that means um, I run to Lillian even if we're stealthed. Ooh, she does not care, though. She can just one-shot him. <laughs> That's pretty nice. Alright. Let's continue on through, I guess. We can do work, too, assuming we have combo points. Damn, dude, she does not mess around. Oh, she's... Pull them to her, but didn't kill him. Okay. Come on, Lillian, kill him dead. Yeah. Guess we're just gonna keep going along the right hand side so we don't have to fight as much as possible. Oh, those other two got aggroed onto us. Oh, 
almost to the tower. Oh, wow. <laughs> Pulling everything. Captain Mill Ranch. Oh, okay. They went all friendly. Lillian, you're... It's so nice to see you well. <laughs> Shut up. Hadouken. Hadouken. You raised me to be a killer. How am I doing, daddy? I, uh... But wait, I remember now. You taught me to only kill the undead. So do you want me to kill myself? <laughs> then again, why kill myself when I can kill you instead? Oh, damn. Right, his body just kind of teleported to the floor there. You alright there, Lillian? She just runs off without a word. And then, yep, disappears. Okay. And of course, we have to run all the way back down there. So, uh, actually, hold up. Let's use our, uh, our hearthstone and then fly back there. I know that there's a quest we can turn in, in Brill, but, uh, we're gonna wait on that for a minute. This will be much faster than trying to walk back down. All right, Dithers, we have your Venom. Yes, actually, we do have your Venom. Ah, this Venom will do perfectly. Everything else has been added to my concoction and boiled down. Thank you, Rogue. Yeah, I, I, I live to serve. Now that's what I call oomph. I wish all our potions did this. From birth to grave to undeath, we all have our own path to follow. Some are easier than others. Sounds like this boss girl has had a rough path so far. Hopefully, hopefully she ultimately chooses to join the, us and follow the Dark Lady. With powers like hers, we could do incredible things. By the way, excellent work here. If you're ever ready and willing, I may have some more work for you here in the Plague Lands. Well, that'll come later. I'm sure we'll see him again eventually. There isn't much more glory for you here in the Bulwark. You've done enough already. There may, however, be further adventures waiting in Silver Pine Forest. Speak with my Batman, Timothy Cunningham. He'll give you a ride to Brill, free of charge. Alright. We also got an 8-slot bag, which we'll go ahead and equip, since all of our current bags are uh, 6 slaughters. Right? Yeah. Now we have 2 extra slots. Fantastic. Going somewhere? Sure, I'll give you a ride. If I executor Darrington asks for it, Darrington asks for it, then technically I I have to. Yeah, in fact, you're going to pay me to go on this ride. <laughs> if you're headed back to Brill, you want to stop at Executor Zygand on your way out. Here, there's some excitement going on in Silver Pine Forest to the south. He'll know more than I do. Speak with me again when you're ready to head out. Remember. All right. I'll take the flight path to Brill now, please. Alright, we're already going back. Alright, let's turn in these couple of quests and then 
That'll probably be the end of the Tears Fog Lades quest lines. Welcome back. I've heard stories from the East. Who would have thought that a young undead rogue like you would have uh, been the one to wipe out the whimpering remnants of the Scarlet Crusade? Farewell. I would have guessed. And you know what? We're probably even going to hit level uh, level 12 after we turn in this last quest. That'd be pretty neat. Magistrate Severin. It is troubling to hear the scourge slipping past the bulwark. Even now, even now they are ceaseless in their assaults. But we will not give in. The Lich King is dead. We will not be taken again. Dark lady, oh, oh no. Alright, well, we're just shy of level 12, unfortunately. Alright, well, I think that is going to be it for this episode. Seems like a good spot. We've completely cleared out Tears Fog Glades. And next episode, we're going to be heading into Silver Pine Forest and uh, continuing our story down there. With all that being said, take care, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.